I thought they needed a new daycare center and playground. Oh, I'm sure they'll love it, Princess Berrykin. I'm sure they will, but... But what? Well, it needs something. The metal is all grey and the wood is all brown. Kind of dull, don't you think? Oh, yes, I see what you mean. It could really use some fun colors. Exactly. And maybe some... Uh... Decoration. <laughs> yes. Design. Yes. Style. Oh, uh, yes. A makeover. <laughs> exactly. Do you know someone who is good at that? I know two someones who are very good at it. Lemon and Raspberry. Excellent. I have always admired the sense of design and style. I'll go tell them. They'll be so excited to get started. They'll jump up and say, Uh, I don't think so. But you're both perfect for the project. <laughs> well, we are naturally very stylish, each in our own way. But we probably should say, no thank you. I don't get it. You both like the princess. Certainly. And you both love the baby berrykins. Absolutely. And you're both talented. Definitely. Then what's the problem? She is. You see, see, we're both very, uh, very, very, um, creative. creative. But our ideas don't always match, you know, go together. And then there are hurt feelings and tears and arguments. What do you mean? Uh, she needs a for instance, you know, uh, an example. But uh, which one? Croquet Club. Club. Here's a great example. A poster we did for the Croquet Club. I thought the perfect slogan would be, you'll have a ball. And I said it should be, you'll have a wickedly good time. <laughs> it's more clever, more memorable, more, I don't know, more now. And I thought the color style was gonna be all wrong. My color style, she means. See, we both have good ideas. We just can't agree on who's are better. But you two are friends. You'd make a great team. Lemon with your sense of beauty and Raspberry with your sense of fashion. Thanks for the compliments, but I still think we get on each other's nerves. Well, can you maybe not argue for just a little while? Long enough to at least listen to the princess's ideas? <laughs> the baby berrykins are gonna go wild! They're gonna scream! They're, they're gonna love this! <laughs> I'm so glad you think so. Now, over there, I thought we could have an art station with crayons and easels and... Oh, and finger paints! And modeling clay. Good ideas. And over here, some games and activities, like a... Yeah, a, a colorful, you know, a multicolored, what you call it? A hop, hip? Hopscotch board! Brilliant! It'll be a first and original! The one and only High Style Playground! So, you'll do it? Yes! Oh, uh, wonderful! Oh, I almost forgot to mention, the daycare opens in two days. Do you think it could be ready by then? No problem! Oh, thank you. I'll drop by later and see how you're doing. <laughs> All right, the first thing we should do is give some pizzazz to the dandelion bouncing pit. Its whole color scheme is so zero. Well, that sounds nice, but what the princess wants is style. So let's start on my hopscotch board. Your hopscotch board? Hmm? Oh, uh, I mean ours. It's just I have the perfect idea for it. Well, okay, I guess, uh, I mean, uh, no point in arguing. Of course not. Why would we want to do that? <laughs> mm. 
chances and all. <laughs> yes, it's delightful. If you happen to like the chances designers were taking last year. <gasps> oh, perfect. What? <laughs> Lemon, what, what, what are you doing? Well, that daring, chancy, modern look of yours is ever so interesting, but it might be a bit, oh, bright for the baby bearkin's eyes, don't you think? No, I don't think. Well, I do. So the choice was simple. Give them sunglasses to protect them from those clashing colors. <laughs> Cute, but... Or, and this one's my personal choice, build a more eyeball-friendly and truly stylish bounce pit. <sighs> There you go again, thinking your ideas are better than mine. Just like with the croquet poster. The croquet poster would have worked if you'd listened to my ideas, but it's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll just let the princess decide whose bounce pit is better looking. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Lemon, could you grab that side of the... Oh, I forgot. Mm, never mind. Oh. Raspberry, could you give me a hand with... Oh, never mind. If Raspberry doesn't appreciate me, what's the point? I'll just let her do it however she wants. Alone! to be very not fun. If Lemon doesn't like how I do things, she can just do it all, all by herself. likes what I do. Aw, I know Lemon likes your stuff. Lemon likes her stuff better. She wants to do everything her way, so I quit. Isn't that play area a two-person job? Oh, believe me, Lemon will be a lot happier alone. Well, why do you think so? Because she won't have me to argue with. Lemon. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, girls. What's everybody doing? Oh. Hey, Lemon. Uh, hi, Lemon. How are you? Getting the refreshments and entertainment ready for the grand opening of the daycare center. How's it going out there? Just great. Ooh, yummy. You girls need any help? Um, <laughs> aren't you and Raspberry working together? We were, but she thinks her ideas are better than mine, so I'm letting her do it by herself. Well, that's a big job for just one person. Doesn't it need two? Not if those two disagree on everything. Oh, so Lemon, I was just working on this new song. Tell me what you think. Um, when stormy grows the weather, it's good to work together. Uh, like birds of a feather, teamwork is better. <laughs> What do you think? 
Oh, do you have anything more uh, peppy? Oh, lemon! It's you. Gosh, uh, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> are you uh, finished already? What? Well, aren't you working on the playground? <gasps> aren't you? I, I thought, thought you were. were. I gave up so you could do it your way. Me too. Nothing <laughs> got done. Hi, girls. Hi, Strawberry. Nice day. Hey, I just heard that Princess Berrykin is on her way over to see how your job is coming. <gasps> Hopefully you settled your differences and everything's fine. What a mess. I can't believe you just walked out and left it like this. Uh, me? You? Well, you walked out too. If Princess Berrykin sees this, she'll lose all faith in me. Well, what about me? Maybe she'll never even speak to me again. Everyone will hear about it and lose trust in me, and, and no one will come to my salon anymore. Well, what about what everyone thinks of me? My, my reputation is on the line too here, you know. If only it weren't for you and for me. What about you? Well, you walked out on the job without even telling me. So did you. <laughs> I don't work for you. I don't work for you either. Oh, blaming each other isn't solving anything. <sighs> You're right. I am? Yeah. So, what do we do? Well, we've got to keep the princess from seeing this until we can get it finished. Or at least cleaned up and, and almost finished. I agree. You do? Absolutely. we got to stall her. Come on! Why, hello, princess. Coming to see our work? Yes. How is it coming along, girls? Oh, just uh, splendidly. We can't wait for you to see it. Oh, but wait. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Why, whatever is wrong, Raspberry? The, uh, chair up. I mean, tablecloths. Oh, my. Yes. How silly of us to forget. We can't show the princess the playground now because... She has to decide on the right fabric for the tablecloths for the lunch tables. <gasps> Quickly, princess, let's go to my fashion boutique. Oh, we're so lucky we ran into you. Oh, this plaid is nice, and this color would go fabulously with this color, don't you think? But we just don't know about these polka dots. Well, these are all nice. Uh, I do have to be getting back to the berry works. How many more samples are we going to be looking at exactly? Oh, just a hundred more. Give or take a few dozen. <laughs> now, about this fabric, what do you think? Stripes? Or checks? You keep her busy. I'll try to do some cleanup. Good idea. Uh... Checks are a good idea, Lemon. A princess, could you take a look at this fabric, please? Yes, you better get going. Oh. Huh. So, we're settled on the tablecloths, then. And a perfect choice it is. How are things going? Oh, just fine. The princess has decided on a fabulous spring floral. How are things going with you, Lemon? Oh, you know, always could use a bit more time. <laughs> well, guess you have to get going back to the berry works now. Well, I could spare a few minutes to see how it's coming along. Goodness me! The flowers! We forgot all about those, uh, special flowers. Right, Raspberry? Why, yes. The, uh, the early blooming yellow-tipped peasel puffs. Yes, oh, they're a must for any daycare nowadays. They are? I've never even heard of peasel puffs. Oh, yes! All the best daycare centers have them. I know. How about if you help us pick one? I'd be delighted. I think I see one. Just a little farther. You're almost there, princess. Is that really a peasel puff tree? There's no such thing. That's just a dogwood tree in bloom. Okay, now grab a couple of flowers, your highness. All right, I've got them. Princess, are you all right? Uh, a little dizzy. 
seems, but fine. Here are your Peasel Puffs. Oh, the Peasel Puffs. They're perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry that I have to get back to the Berry Works, so I won't be able to visit the play area just now. Oh, really? Oh, phooey. Well, it will look a lot better in the morning when we're done. See you at the grand opening, girls. <sighs> yeah, we're in very big trouble. If only you'd listened to my ideas. What makes you think you've got the only good ideas? Let's not start that again. Maybe Strawberry can help us. Good idea. Race you to the cafe. You win. Oh, oh, and then the balloon went all crazy, you know, wacky. I mean, we barely got her down safely. And the play area is still unfinished. And the only thing we agree on is that we'll never finish it on time. Strawberry, we're never going to be able to work well together. <laughs> but you already do work well together. Huh? No, really. Look at the clever ways you kept the princess delayed. Fabrics, balloons, flowers. I mean, it'd be better if you told her the truth. But that? <laughs> that took a lot of teamwork. Well, now that I think about it, we did plan that well. <laughs> yeah, your fabric idea was pretty clever. Oh! <laughs> And your Peasel Puff gag. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure I want to know what a Peasel Puff is, but do you understand what I'm saying? So? I think we're going to give the play area another shot. That's great! But it's still going to be a lot of work. Do you need any help? Thanks. That's very kind. But I think Raspberry and I should do it. We have our reputations to uphold. Oh, yes. And we promised the princess together, so we need to, you know, complete it together. Oh, no. We don't have much time. What do we do? We could work on each project together until it's done, and then we'll move on to the next one. What do you think? Great idea. Really? <laughs> really. Very best friends forever Never let each other down As long as we're together Things will always turn around You might get lost, but it's okay When you've got your friends Sleeping on the job. However, they finished the job. Wow, it's amazing! What a great team! I had a feeling they could do it. Look, the princess is coming. Quick, let's put up the ribbon. It's perfect! Very perfect. Princess, would you please do the honors? I now declare this Berrykin Daycare Center open! A great job. We only did the ribbon. There are your makeover superstars. Lemon, raspberry. I love the play area. It's exactly what I wanted. It's colorful, vibrant, stylish, and fun. Both modern and old-fashioned. Thank you, Princess. And we apologize for all that trouble we put you through yesterday. No harm done. <laughs> She didn't even care who did what. She was just so pleased with the result. She was impressed with the team. And so am I. Thank you, Strawberry. Thanks. Righto. And I can't wait to work with you again. Mm. How about working on a nap? <sighs> yes. You got it. <sighs> Partner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Countdown! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! 
<laughs> Don't worry. You can do it. Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin has melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. But where's Barry Kin Bloom? There he is. <laughs> To my history and mystery of Berry Bitty City, first edition, there have to be a Berry Fest princess, and Princess Berrykin has been Berry Fest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berry Fest princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must love the events, judge all the flowers, smell all the flowers, know all about spring, not to mention the wanderberry, and of course, she <laughs> must ride in the front of the parade in a beautiful carriage. That's, That's for me. How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straw? A quick game of musical chairs? Uh, find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, huh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> The first challenge! The very first princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> the flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. <laughs> What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Oh, good answer. And a lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Mm, I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. Boy, I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. 
No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest Princess must know her way around the Berry Grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Huh. Now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but oh, uh, rather high. What if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry's so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. Oh, thank you. Strawberry, get off your vine! I know, I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours too. Thank you. Uh oh. We did it! Just fall! Fall! We have our two candidates! Yeah. Fall! Aha! Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm gonna ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. There. Done. Only 199 more to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadie Bug. After you. Sorry. Um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry. I've, I've come to be your, your campaign, campaign manager. manager. Uh, well... Hey! I was gonna say that! Well, <laughs> why don't you both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in! Come again soon and vote for orange. 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 What are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, huh? uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? Here you go. And you, and you too. <laughs> um, Katie Bug, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There. All done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um... <laughs> Aren't I the one who's running for Berryfest Princess? Oops. I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, very fast princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but 
I'm not sure Sadie Bug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. Hey, Blueberry! What are you doing here? I asked you first. No, I did. Let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to write, write a speech for my candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Stop! You've decided? Well, no, not yet. But my candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. Uh, so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I gonna do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no. Worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You? Orange? Orange? You? It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. oh, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? <sighs> not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Are you dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fest Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So... I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> How does this look? Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi Strawberry. Strawberry. I see you two are getting along. 
Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So, we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. And now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry yeah! Shortcake. Yeah! <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh. And I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us, different reasons. And so everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yay! Yay! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! Yay! Now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. we voted, it's time to count the votes. Yeah! One for orange. One for strawberry. Two for strawberry. Two for orange. And the last vote is for... Orange! Five plus three is kind of going to carry the two, and, uh, Yes? We have a tie! It's a tie! Oh, no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a berry fest princess. I'm going to be in the front of the parade. <laughs> the winner of the election and the Berry Fest Princess for this year is... <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Yay! You voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but, well, I, I thought it over, and my opinion is you would make the best Berry Fest princess. Yeah! Yeah! Who's riding in the front of the parade? That's right, me. Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such, um, good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Oh, well, I tried. You sure did. Yeah! Oh, you 
daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies from berry bitty seed to full size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are. The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good, but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. Preheated to 375. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? Oh, what's going on? <gasps> huh? <gasps> <gasps> Strawberry? What is it? I don't know. Something's wrong with the oven. <gasps> what was that? My muffin recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grow. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh, no! Come on! What is it? Oh, no! Not again. Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. Time, all I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to Muffin Surprise. Uh, <laughs> oh, <I don't> know. <laughs> muffin Explosion? Ha. Uh -huh. Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny. <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step. Double check the oven's temperature. Triple check the timer. Huh, maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, 
Sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course. It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Well, let's see. Uh, yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible! I planted daisy seeds. <gasps> You, Blueberry. <laughs> You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me. I mean, about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Uh, oh, my. <laughs> you did everything right. <laughs> Best crop of corn I've seen. <laughs> that should be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> nice corn. Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen. Why, it is big. Hi, berrykins. Hi, Hi strawberry. strawberry. Nice corn. So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big? They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined, for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away, with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> That's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. No, the plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thingies that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like...
like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out when you pity, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> But here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grow Daisies, we don't sell corn, no serene. But we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grow Supersize Ever Pop popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental Supersize popcorn must have gotten to one of our official Daisy Seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> Oh, no! Great right, song. We all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. <laughs> well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, it sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, that's that's a good idea. Idea. Wait, wait. Oh, I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be oh. too dangerous. Huh? Oh, my! We are pretty bitty. And this corn pop's very big. Yeah, oh, it's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 On strawberry, how can we move them? We're so bitty, and they're so big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> Okay, let's move about. enough away, I believe.
Which way did they go? I don't know. They they completely disappear. I mean, they're gone. Where are we? Down in some kind of cave. Hey, what's that? Smoke? No. It looks like steam. Probably some kind of underground hot spring. Hey! We're down here! Hey, guys! We're here! Help! Help! Oh, I hope they can hear us. Come on! This is the direction they rolled. think it's been hours but at least with the steam heat we'll be warm I'm getting hungry yeah me too I wish I had an idea how to get us out of this oh I never read about this kind of thing in any of my books we'll figure out a way improvise what we need is a ladder too bad all we have is an ear of corn wait what did you say improvise that's it! Hey! An, An ear of corn ladder! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh, the steam from the vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait! Why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. Places that they should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea! Ha, 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 ha! 
mini golf course. I must say, this is marvelous fun. <laughs> huh? What's happened to my ball? Disappeared, vanished before my very eyes. Oh, oh, oh here's mine. But 
Somehow it's turned green. <laughs> oh, oh, but, but this is the wrong color. You can't see it. Isn't this strange? <laughs> You there! Did you have something to do with this? Oh, now I've lost it again! Oh, oh. oh you poor dear! Looks like our game is ruined. Oh, but I was about to win! <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Raspberry? Well, I like it. Great color on you. I like it too. But the other one is very nice as well. <laughs> you want to try it on again? Um, yes, please. Stop! Oh, come back here. Wait for a... Strawberry! What do you think? <laughs> I like this one too, but oh, I just I just wish I had a bunch more colors to show you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kim? Yes, Strawberry? You need to ask before you make things change colors. Why? <laughs> Ick! That really clashes. Well, for example, what do you think of this color hat with my outfit? Pretty! <laughs> oh dear, he'll never have a future in fashion design. Oh. How do you get somebody this young to realize that what they do has an effect on everybody else? Ah, there he is! It was him! Oh, I was this close to a winning round! At my miniature golf course! That's it! Your miniature golf course! Can we bring Baby Berrykin to come play? <laughs> yeah! 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 Uh, but, 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 but he'll change the balls the wrong colors! Exactly. Let's go. Oh, but... Trust me, Mr. Longface. I think this will work. You'll be doing a great service to Berry Bitty City. Shortcake, uh, those are the last ungreen golf balls that I have. I know. Thank you for letting us use them. Don't worry. We'll be very careful. Won't we, baby Berrykin? So, what do you say? Would you like to give it a try? Oh, oh. Yes, please. Okay, baby Berrykin. Try and make your ball go up the ramp through the windmill. Like this. <gasps> Yay, Strawberry! <laughs> Thank you. Now it's your turn. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll have another chance. But first, it's Blueberry's turn. Why? Because... 
because it isn't my ball. My ball is blue. Strawberry, is this yours? Oh, no! It couldn't be mine. Mine already went through. <laughs> my turn! My turn! I'm sorry, Baby Berrykin, but we can't play if we don't know which ball belongs to which player. Oh, sorry, Miss Shortcake. Uh, perhaps another time. <sighs> Come on, Baby Berrykin. We'll find something else to do. Play! I want to play Merry Golf! Please, Strawberry! Well, the only way we can play is if we know whose ball is whose. Oh, if only there was a way to make the balls go back to the color they used to be. I know, I know! I can take out Berry's bottles and I can put them back, Strawberry! Promise! Really? Oh, that's great! <laughs> Yay! Now we can keep playing! Yeah! You did it! Oh, brilliant! Very good! Yay! <laughs> Say, can you help us? You did such a good job taking the berry sparkles out of the golf balls. Could you do the same with the other things you changed? So everything looks like it was before? And you see, because they're the same color, I can't tell the nice, smooth flannel from the itchy burlap until I'm wearing it. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, I don't know. Hey, do you know? Yeah! What do we say? You're welcome, Lazbully. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I couldn't tell which was the right hair dye or nail polish. Just look at me. What about Lemon? Pretty. <laughs> yes, it's good that you think she's pretty, but she doesn't think she's pretty. Oh, no? No. You see, Everyone likes different things, and Lemon likes how she looked before you changed her. Oh, okay. <gasps> Pretty. Thank you, Baby Bearkin. <laughs> You're welcome, Lemon. You're welcome. You're the first to try my rainbow smoothie. Now that the right colors match the flavors again, I could finish it. Mmm, pretty and tasty. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's very pretty. Thank you, Swabelly. Oh, the color I want. Well, it's not here. <gasps> I know. Say, can you make this crayon a color that's a little bit more like this one? Uh-uh. Why not? Using belly sparkles to change colors is bad. Oh, baby Berrykin. Your sparkles aren't bad. They're beautiful. It's wonderful. It is? Yes, it is. All you need to do is think before you do it. Think, how will it make other people feel? 
Strawberry? Yes. What if I don't know? Well, then you ask them. Is it okay? <laughs> Very okay. Oh, pretty. Thank you, Baby Berrykin. You're welcome, Strawberry. This is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamacure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. Thank <laughs> you. 
sorry, Mr. Longface. Here. Oh, it's just, um, uh, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. And waterproof. <gasps> waterproof? Oh, is that so? Yeah, won't wash off, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> how lucky for us. <laughs> Music is nice here and there, but all day and all night? I can't think straight. Try dancing to two tunes at the same time. The one you're supposed to dance to, and the one coming from your glamicure. I think people aren't coming to the store as much because they're getting tired of the glamicure music. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> maybe Raspberry and Blueberry can think of something. Oh, good idea. In the meantime, let's get out of here. So, what do we do now? I don't know. What can we do? You say you want a pan of stew? No, I said what can we do? Well, the first thing we can do is get rid of these earmuffs. They're almost as bad as the glamicures. So, what do we do? Okay. Everybody hold your hands very still. <sighs> Look, we have to tell Lemon that these things just aren't working out. But how could we do that? She's so proud of them. I know. I've never seen her so thrilled about something. It would hurt her feelings to learn the truth. I'm not going to be the one to tell her. If she found out that we don't like her glamicures, well, she... she... <gasps> she might stop giving manicures altogether. Why, she might even stop giving hairstylings. And she might not speak to us ever again. She might close the salon and move away. And it'd be our fault for being so cruel. You're right. Strawberry'd never do something like that. She's too considerate. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right. She's really Dear. nice about things what like do? this. I take back what I said about telling Lemon. I would go to the ends of the earth rather than hurt her feelings. I would go beyond the ends of the earth. Well, I would. Uh, I would. I would put up with my glamicure forever. Us too. Well, then it's decided. We'll never tell them and her glamicures are driving us crazy. Right! It's a really simple step, Orange. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, three. One, two, three. Four, one, three. Two, seven, eight. That is 
isn't a signal for nap time. Nothing is. Huh? What? for a picnic, but they haven't shown. That's odd. I wonder what happened. It seems as if Blueberry and Plum have been avoiding me, too. I wonder if they're mad at me. Mad at you? Maybe I did something wrong, or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't see how anyone couldn't like you. I know. How about if I do my pruning later, and I'll picnic with you? Oh, Strawberry, thank you. And then, when we're done, you could go by the other girls' places and ask them if everything's okay. Ask them? Oh, oh my, no. I couldn't do that. I know it's scary sometimes to ask difficult questions, but wouldn't you rather know the truth than imagine bad things? Oh, but what if the truth is something just... Terrible. Could it be more terrible than what you're already afraid of? Maybe they don't like me anymore? Well, uh, I guess you have a point. What if you ask them for me? Uh, I think it's better coming from you. More direct, you know? But I'll be happy to go with you if you'd like. I'll think about it. After our picnic. Sounds good. <laughs> Strawberry had the same idea. <laughs> Gardening gloves. That's good. But isn't she afraid Lemon will catch on? Oh, oh, looks like she's taking them off. Oh, poor Strawberry. Such a kind soul to picnic with Lemon and endure that <gasps> music. Oh, I feel so bad avoiding Lemon's invitation for a picnic. Uh, me too. But I just couldn't bear to listen to my glamicure. Be strong. We made a vow to live with our glamicures and not tell Lemon. No matter how tired we are, no matter how many picnics we have to miss. Deal? Deal. You're right, Strawberry. I have to talk to my friends. And now's as good a time as any. But you'll come along, right? Sure. Everything's just great. Oh, sorry about the picnic. Just got so busy in the store. Oh, I see. That's fine. Strawberry, join me. Uh, so is your glamicure working okay? Okay? Well, sure. Light's nice and bright? So bright you almost need sunglasses. <laughs> oh, good. Plenty of music? Ooh, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> Well, thanks. I just wanted to see if everything was okay. As okay as an O and a K can be. Adventure. Cookbook. Hi, Blueberry. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Um, is this a bad time? Is everything okay, Blueberry? Okay? Uh, couldn't be better. Why, I was just sorting books to the tune of my glamic here. <laughs> Oh, good. I was just... well, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything to... well, 
you know, bother you? Bother me? Why, no, no! Okay, that's good. Well, I'll see you around then. Nice to see you, Lemon! Strawberry! <sighs> that was close. Bosley! <laughs> Everything okay, Raspberry? What are you making? Oh, just stuff. You know, stuff. Just, uh, trying my new over, under, through, and back stitch. <laughs> hey, did I mention how much I love my glamicure? Thanks, Plum. See you later. You were right. Everything is fine. I think. You think? Well, Everyone said so, but I had a teeny tiny feeling that maybe something wasn't right. Huh. Oh well, it must have just been me. I guess. I'm just glad that you spoke to everyone. That took courage, Lemon. Thanks. Yeah, I do feel better. I guess. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Poor things. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here. I need your help with something. <gasps> Look! Strawberry? Where'd they go? What happened to your glamicure? Oh, it wasn't working out for me. It was a little too bright and distracting. <gasps> I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How'd, How'd you, you do, do it? it? I just told Lemon how I felt, and she removed it. You told her? But, 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 is she all right? Oh, did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? We... we won't make her feel... You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes, we should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell Lennon the truth! <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? You go. Now you go. After you. No, you. Wow, do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... Uh... The Glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, but why? <laughs> I never, I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Whew, we didn't hurt your feelings. Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. 
got a great idea. New and improved Super Glamicures. Uh, super uh, Glamicures? Uh, really? I don't know. Don't worry. I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh, controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah! yeah. All great ideas. Yeah! Especially the off switch. understand what it's for. No standing on each other's shoulders rule. I know what it needs. <laughs> hey, Orange. That's not fair. <laughs> Wait, can you do that? There's no rule against it. In fact, I haven't made up any rules yet. <laughs> stick is no match for two birds. Get back. 
my store. Oh, same here. <laughs> Me too. What a fun day this has been. This is a great game you invented, Orange. What do you call it? Uh, I don't know. It's a ball stuffed with dandelion fluff. So how about we call it Dandy Ball? Yes, <laughs> Dandy Ball. Great. <laughs> The little fairy can tiptoe up the stairs of the Outside. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't imagine a more perfect day for a needle pointing picnic. <laughs> you needle pointing today? Well, we got so caught up in the excitement of Dandy Ball. So, we thought maybe we'd finish our picnic in here. <laughs> so, you know, we won't get distracted. Hi, Plum. Hi, Strawberry. I was wondering if I could ask a favor. Of course. What do you need? I need some help clearing part of the meadow. Sure, I'd be glad to help. Huh? So, what are we clearing this for, Plum? So I'll have space to use for my dance recital. Wait a minute. I thought the dance recital was going to be near the gazebo. It was. But with Dandy Ball being so popular, I thought it'd be easier to just move. Hmm. There's plenty of room outside for everyone. Dandy Ball shouldn't be getting in anybody's way. And there should be plenty of room to play Dandy Ball, too. Right! Everyone should be able to enjoy themselves and the outdoors with just a bit of planning. Oh, yeah, yeah of course. Right. Yes. Good idea. So, who should do the planning? I'd volunteer, but I have to finish the costumes for Plum's recital first. That's right. Hmm. And I need to practice. Who would be good? Well, since I was the one who sort of got the ball rolling... Make that floating. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should be the one to figure out a way to keep things fair for everybody. Maybe I could figure out, oh, I don't know, some sort of schedule. Oh, what about lemon? Me? <laughs> yeah! You schedule appointments all day, and the problem here seems to be all about scheduling. Huh. I guess it is about scheduling. Okay, I'll give it a try. Is that okay with you, Orange? You did volunteer first. Oh, no problem. I think Raspberry's right. Lemon will do a really good job. Besides, I'm pretty busy with my store right now. And with the new game, I've kind of gotten behind. I'll see you later. Okay, Orange. See you later. Once upon a time, there was a big baby berrykin who loved to do somersaults. Mmm, I love that story. What's going on? How come everyone is just standing around? We're waiting for Blueberry's hour to be up so we can play again. Oh. Where is Blueberry? Oh, she finished a while ago and went back to her store. So why don't you just go ahead and play? Lemon schedule says we can't until Blueberry's hour is up. But that doesn't make... This doesn't seem quite right. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hey, hi, Strawberry. Strawberry. Is 
lemon around? Huh? Hi, Lemon. How's it going? Oh, fine, fine. Almost got this worked out, I think. One hour for watering plants, one for tasting jam. You know, Lemon, maybe an hour is too long for some activities and too short for some others. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I didn't need a whole hour to read to the Berrykins. And the Berrykins needed more than an hour to play dandy ball. Gee, I hadn't thought of it that way. I'm used to making salon appointments by the hour. I know I can figure this out, but it's taking forever. I don't have any time to do my hair appointments. Maybe someone else could take over while I get caught up? Well, I'm pretty busy, but I suppose... Oh, oh, you know who'd be good at this? Blueberry! Plum's right! Me? Well, yeah, now that I think about it. Research, detail, figuring out numbers. Those are things you're really good at. Well, I do enjoy those things. Okay, I'll do my very best. Oh, thank you. This is great. Here, I'll help you move all the papers. Are you okay with Blueberry taking over the scheduling? Oh, sure. It's the kind of thing she's good at. She's bound to figure out what's best for everyone. Ooh, I still have lots to do in the store. Better get back to it. Bye. Bye, Orange. Hmm. Aha! Just as I thought. Yes, I think that's it. The longitudinal lines have days of the week. Rectangles represent dandy ball. Here's quilting a square. Story time for the baby barricans is a hexagon. Plum's dance recitals are circles. The book fair, two squares. Well, now that takes care of 9 o'clock Tuesday morning. Now on to Wednesday. Uh, hang on, this is Monday. Uh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> well, um, that concludes the presentation portion of my, um, presentation. But I made a copy of everyone's schedules in handy pocket size, so you can always carry it around. Here you go. This is for you. Here's yours. Uh, here you are. Here you go. This is yours. One for you and one for you. And... Well, this is really great, Blueberry. Lots of, um, details. And so thorough. But I don't mind telling you, figuring this out was a bit more complicated than I thought. I'm sure it'll work out just fine once everyone gets the hang of it. <gasps> What's going on? It's supposed to be my turn for the book fair. I thought I got to have my gymnastics class now, but they all think they get to do their activities now. Oh, oh. My turn! Not fair! It says right here that... I checked twice. I know it's my turn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, it's here somewhere. <laughs> That's not it. Aha! The outdoors gets used now for... Jadybug surprise birthday party. My birthday isn't for two more months. Wait, what surprise party? I know it's here. I just saw it. I'm sorry, everyone. Listen, we all like dandy ball, right? So for now, let's all play. And I'll try to figure out a better schedule. <laughs> Why not? Okay, dokey. Might as well. Lovely idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, this was trickier than I thought. I think I can straighten out the rest of the day, but maybe one of you could give it a try after that. How about you, Raspberry? Oh, well, I'd be happy to try, but I think the perfect person is... You, Strawberry! After all, you schedule activities in the cafe. Maybe, but I wonder if Orange shouldn't give it a try first. <laughs> Orange? Sure. Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not that we don't think she can do it. Oh, no. I mean, she's great at thinking fast. Excellent. But sometimes she kind of... Uh, jumps into things? Yeah. And she's never had to do this kind of planning before. None of 
of us have had to do this kind of planning before. I think if we give Orange a chance, she'll surprise everyone, including herself. Hi, everyone. What's going on? Well, Strawberry had this idea, and we wanted to know what you think of it. Her idea is that maybe you should try to organize the outdoor areas. I don't know if I would be good at that kind of thing. Planning, organizing, scheduling. And I really do have a lot of work in the store right now. What work do you have to do, Orange? Well, I have to keep track of what people have bought so that I know what I have to reorder. I have to figure out where to put everything I've ordered once it comes in. And I have to put everything in its special place on the shelf so that everyone can find what they're looking for. Then I have to do my weekly calendar, you know, where I schedule which days I clean the store, which days I stock the shelves. Sounds like a lot of planning, organizing, and scheduling. Oh, it is. That's why I don't have much time to... What are you all smiling about? Because everything you just said is about planning and organizing and scheduling. Exactly the kind of planning, organizing, and scheduling the community areas need. And I should know. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, this seemed like a pretty big job at first. But I realized it was just like working in my store. I had to start with one activity, then move on to the others. But why didn't I think of that? So I broke it into smaller jobs, and the first job was to organize the game of Dandy Ball. Of course, that makes so much sense. So, I set up six teams. Everyone can sign up to be on a team over there. I'm gonna be on the orange team, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out how long it usually takes to play one game. Then added how many games we have to play a week to finish a month-long season. So, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are Dandy Ball Days. I worked out the whole season. There's even a championship! Oh, yay! <laughs> Once I had the game figured out, I was able to fit everything else into the rest of the week. <laughs> yes! Here's Raspberry's fashion show. Oh, that's perfect! Two hours is just the right amount of time I need to set up. And these are perfect times for story reading. The baby bearkins are awake. All my gymnastics classes are scheduled for when the breeze is nice and cool. And here are the smaller versions of the schedule. Wow, Orange, it looks like you thought of everything. We wish we could have been more helpful. You can be. There are a few things we could still use. Oh, hey! <gasps> Those teams will need uniforms. I can definitely design them. And Dandy Ball should have a rule book. I've always wanted to write an official rule book. Oh, the team should have someone to cheer them on. I'll go work up some cheerleading routines. Oh, wow, Orange. I'm so sorry we ever questioned whether you could do this. I questioned it, too. It was Strawberry who got me to realize I could do it. The only way to find out what you can do well is to give it a try. Or to find out what you don't do so well. <laughs> <laughs> Do, 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 do. Orange, wait up! Oh, you were amazing! I'm just glad I could help. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Maybe you could help me reorganize the post office. Sure, Jadybug. I'd be glad to. Orange, I need to ask a favor. Certainly, Princess. What can I do for you? I wonder if you could help get the berry ones to run a bit more smoothly. I'll certainly give it a try. Right after I helped Jadybug with the post office. There you are. I've been trying to come up with a better way to sort all the books in my store. Maybe you could... Help you organize? Sure. Right after I helped Jadybug and Princess Berry. <laughs> I mean, right after one more game of Dandy Ball. Come on!
Yes, we do, Strawberry. Thanks for asking. Yes, we do. <laughs> then dig in. What was that? Oh, is it the Berry King Marching Band practice season already? No, that's not for another month. Wait, Let's go find out. out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta see what this is. That is very exciting. What's going on? We want to announce. <laughs> We, we want to insert... A bigger pardon. Oh, no, I beg you. No, 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 no. After you. No, after you. No, 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 you first. No, 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 no. I insist. First. One ladybug argument you, coming you, up. You. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we say it together? What a wonderful idea, Ladybug. We're starting a new club. And we want you to join. A club run by Sadiebug and Katiebug? But they're always arguing. How much fun could that club be? Unless it's a debate club. Behold! Our, Our good, good citizens club! See? We even have membership pins. A good citizens club? Really? They do seem to be getting along. Maybe they've turned over a new leaf. Make it a whole tree. Pardon me, but what exactly does a good citizens club do? What exactly is a citizen? A member of the community. So a good citizen is... A kind and helpful member of the community. Uh, yeah! <laughs> and good citizens do... Good citizens eat things. Like bringing soup to sick berry kids? Donating old clothes to the needy? Keeping Berry Bitty City clean? Uh, sure. <laughs> and if you do something really good, Citizen Z, you get membership pins. See? Ooh, a membership pin. And we even have a motto. Oh, what is it? Happy to serve others. Oh, oh wow, well, that's just really great. great. I like that. <laughs> so, what's next? Do we do helpful things for the community and its citizens? You got it! Just do as many of those things as you can before our first meeting tomorrow evening at the Good Citizens Clubhouse! And then we can talk about uh, those uh, good citizens-y things that we all did! And think up some new ones, too? Definitely! Sure thing! Why not? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! Last minute special delivery! Super duper really important highly special good citizens club first meeting reminders! Sorry, my fault. No, 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 my fault. Not mine. Please make sure you deliver all of them before tomorrow. Hi, Orange. I was thinking I might bring some snacks or something to the meeting tonight. Do you have any crackers? Hi, Plum. Sure, I'll get them. Wow, Orange. Pretty. Oh, isn't it? My Good Citizens Club membership pin. It came in the mail. Where's yours? Um, my mail hasn't come yet. <laughs> hey, Plum, what do you think? I created a whole new fashion statement to go along with my Good Citizens Club membership pin. Wow, that's a very creative idea, Raspberry. I love it. Nice outfit, Raspberry. Oh, wow. Oh, you look great. Oh, yes, fantastic. I have to go check my mailbox. I can't wait to see my pin. <gasps> I didn't get one. Why didn't I get one? How am I supposed to go to the meeting tonight without a membership pin? I don't understand. Well, I'll just have to ask the ladybugs what happened. Maybe she went to do a good citizen thing by herself. Well, I'm sure she'd like to join us. It's way more fun to work together. Let's leave her a note on the door. We'll tell her that we're over at the Berry Grove helping the Berrykins dig a new path for a stream so that it will go around the grove instead of right through it. Very good idea. Over here! No, over here! Oh, good! Here. You're here! It'll be way better here. No, here! <clears throat> no, here! Excuse me. Oh, Plum! We were having a, um, 
discussion about where to put the banner. Where would you put it? Uh, right in the middle? Excuse me, but the other girls have Good Citizens Club membership pins, and I'm just wondering what I need to do to get mine. Is there some sort of test or something I have to pass to show I can serve others? Uh, Plum, would you mind giving us some privacy for a moment so we can have a, um... A, um, hmm, club leaders conference. Of course. I'll be just right outside, ready for my test. You forgot to send her pin. Did not. Must have been you. You're always forgetting something. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Uh, yeah, huh? What are we going to do? We can't lose her as a member of our club. I guess we'd better give her a test like she wants. Oh, uh, right. But we don't have a good citizens club test to give. Well, she said she wants a test on serving others. Oh, Plum! Ready to show I can be a good citizen. Do you want to be in the good citizens club? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I still can't hear you. Yes. You must take the test of good citizenness. Whatever it is, I'll do my very best. Yes, yes, yes. So, your first test will be to paint the clubhouse inside and out so it looks nice before the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club. Inside and out? Uh, is that too hard? Because instead you could... Absolutely not too hard for me. I am happy to do my best to make the Good Citizens Club look fabulous for everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. Start on that side. You're blocking my tan over there. <laughs> I don't know. I think that blue clashes with my eyes. Can you do a lighter shade? What's that? Here, give me the paintbrush. That's more like it. That looks like a rabbit. It looks like a flower. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. <sighs> Are you sure you think it's not good? Should you do it over? No, no. It looks terrific. Really. Let's wait to get the other member's opinion before we go changing anything. So is that it? Do I get my pin now? Well, uh, you finished the first test. Congratulations! First test? How many are there? Uh, uh, three. Yeah, three's good. Yeah, we always use three. Uh-huh, that's right. Oh. <sighs> I wonder where Plum is. Yeah, she's missing all the mud. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Just what exactly does this have to do with being a good citizen? Well, all that painting made me hungry. And all that painting made me thirsty. And obviously, we need snacks and drinks for tonight's meeting, right? Yes. I actually have some crackers I was gonna bring. That's it. We'll need a lot more than just crackers. And drinks, too. And we need to sample the snacks and drinks first, of course. But what does snack tasting have to do with good citizenship? It's, um, making sure it's good. For the citizens, of course. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Happy, Happy to, to serve, serve others! I can make peanut butter and glimmer berry sandwich surprises. Blueberry and lemon will like those. And kiwi smoothies. Huh. Dear Plum, when you're finished, we are over at the berry grove helping the berrykins dig a new path for a stream. Oh no! The other girls are already doing good deeds for the community. I'm so behind. I've gotta hurry. <laughs> Fix the berry 
Grove. Oh, too bad Plum missed this. A little of this, a little of that, and a little more of that. so she must have gotten it. I wonder what's been keeping her busy all day. I know. Let's leave her another note. Sorry we missed you at the Fairy Grove. I'm sure you've been very busy being a good citizen. See you at the meeting. Love us. Ew! You call this a snack? How about this one? Oh. <laughs> But the snacks aren't just for you. I thought this was about the other club members, too. Uh, oh. Well, okay. These'll do. Time to move on to test number three. Number three? You're only one test away from your membership pin. Well, okay. But this is the last one. Just give us a sec to have another club leaders conference. <laughs> Planting flowers in the community garden is a great project for the Good Citizens Club. And I have all the right things to do it with. And I have just the right design for it, too. This is gonna be great. Plum will love it, too. She loves planting flowers. I wish I knew what she was doing all day. It's almost time for the club meeting. She definitely wouldn't miss the first meeting. She came by this morning and picked up some crackers for all of us. That's so nice of her. Let's go by and pick her up. Well, did you decide yet? What's my final test? Uh, this place could use a little color, but I already painted it. Pink, like you wanted. What she means is color and fragrance. So, cut some flowers from the community garden to decorate the clubhouse with. How about I gather some flowers from the forest? But the prettiest flowers are in the community garden. You aren't supposed to pick flowers from the community garden. Those flowers are for everyone to enjoy in the garden, not for us to take home for ourselves. I'll pick some flowers from the meadow. My favorite ones are in the community garden. But community service isn't about what your favorites are. Don't you understand? If everyone picked those flowers for themselves, soon there wouldn't be any left. And no one in Berry Bitty City would be able to enjoy them anymore. Uh, we could enjoy them. We thought you wanted to serve others. Others like us. We thought you wanted to be a good citizen like everyone else in the club. <laughs> well, are you going to pick those flowers? No. Saying no is simply unheard of in the Good Citizens Club. Then I guess I can't be in your club. <laughs> I can't be in our club? But, but you, you have to be! I'm sure you've been busy being a good citizen. Good citizen, you've been doing good citizenly things. <laughs> Gee, was it something I said? Something certainly not right. Plum? <laughs> What's wrong, Plum? Tell us. We're your friends. I'm not a good citizen. What? But Plum, you're one of the very, very best citizens I know. I, I didn't pass the test that you all passed, so I'm not in the club. Test? What tests? I didn't take any test. I didn't take a test. Did you? Nope, not me. I don't think anyone did. What are you talking about, Plum? The ladybugs didn't give you tests? Then how come you all have membership pins and I don't? Didn't yours come in the mail? I don't know what's going on, but I think it's time for us to have a good citizen word with the ladybugs. That 
one. No. That one. You call that a flower? Now that's a flower. <laughs> and like, you would know. Are you saying I can't pick a flower? I am saying that you couldn't pick a flower to pick if the flower picked you. Uh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Early for the meeting, are we? We're here to find out why you gave Plum a good citizen's test and not any of us. Um, sorry. Uh, we can give you girls tests too if you want. <sighs> why would any of us have to take a test at all? Especially Plum. Plum is always a good citizen. You weren't going to cut the community flowers, were you? Um, well, yeah, because Plum wouldn't. So we have to. Plum wouldn't? No. It was her final test. But she said no. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, excuse me. How come I never got a good Citizens Club membership pin, but everyone else did? We don't know why you never got it. We, um, mailed your pin out with the others. But, but what about the tests? We sort of kind of got the idea from you. Me? Well, you seemed like you really wanted to take one, so... Because I thought all my friends had. You don't have a clue about what makes a good citizen, do you? <laughs> Why did you start this club anyway? Well, um, so we could be in a club. And be, you know, really popular. And be the leaders. Like the bosses of the club? No one's ever wanted us in a club before. I guess now we know why we're not very good citizens. Sadie Bug, oh, Katie Bug. I think your idea for a good citizens club is a great idea. You do? But you definitely didn't follow your own club's mission. Happy to serve others. You have to be the ones to serve others, not others serving you. We're so sorry for not acting like good citizens. And we promise we'll do better from now on. Strawberry, will you take over as club leader? I'm glad to see you've learned your lesson, but... Hmm, I know someone who has already proven she'd make a perfect club leader. Cutting the community flowers and taking them for yourselves isn't being a good citizen. But saying no to something you feel is not good for the community was a brave and very good citizen-y thing to do, Plum. Me? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> well, if that's the case, I call the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club to order. <gasps> the chair leader recognizes Blueberry. I move that we hold our first meeting as a camp out. Your attention, please. Now, I'd like us to vote on Strawberry's idea that the club do something good for the entire community by planting more flowers in the community garden. And after that, we can spruce up the town gazebo. And maybe some warm scarves for the Ferricans for the winter. A stylish ones, of course. And we can, um, um, um... Oh, 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 oh! We eat snacks! <laughs> but if we, like, make snacks <laughs> for the Ferricans and the Berry Works? Yeah, because they all work so hard. I think that's a lot of good ideas for our club to do. I call for a vote. All in favor? Aye! The ayes have it. <laughs> and now I officially declare that at the close of our first meeting of the Good Citizens Club, we should sing a song. Everyone listen up, hear my proclamation. About taking dreams seriously Erase your fears, don't worry about perfection All that matters is what you believe Feel inspired, learn, ask a million questions Be the very best you can be, yeah Just imagine all the possible directions Let's make history
Jack's the flower show. Oh, don't forget the honey days. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. We like the carriage. Oh, oh, and twirl the very best princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the very best princess baton? I'd better practice. Climb the buffet. Right, the buffet. Careful the cobbler. Cobbler? And the black. Oh, buckles. Get all the wings. Spaghetti. Before, after. Oh, I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's bitty book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. Uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. So silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to! Oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> Hi, Orange. I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands... You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh, no! Look at the time! Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals for my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Ah, well. Hi, Strawberry. Uh, where's Orange? Oh, she just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the Berry Can Dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the Berry Bitty Bunny Hop during the parade. But the Berry Kins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. I'd love to help them, but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs>
might do with a common, ordinary, everyday pencil. So if this just isn't as nice as I'd like it to be, I'd like you to look over the map route and see if it looks too long. Uh, I'm a bit busy right now helping Orange and Plum. Uh, 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 could you please come by the cafe in an hour and I'll look at it then? It'll only take a second or a minute, depending on your speed reading ability. Uh, all right. these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what would really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. <sighs> I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go, bye! <sighs> I've tried to be a good leader, Custard. But things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh, no, not another one. It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. Baton 
one twirling. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh... <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own route. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So there. Yeah. Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in 10 minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! No princess. She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? 
Please take my hanky. <laughs> Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <gasps> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left us. <laughs> I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! Up there! <gasps> hey! Over here! Well, we've just got to save her! Come on, everyone! here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess. Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. Oh, am I early? Right on time. I'm just running a bit behind. 
Let's see. Sorry, Blueberry. Can I put you over here? Let me put you over here. Tea? Thank you. And let's get those pinkies soaking. How much time do we have? We're running out of time. I wish there was a way to do hair and nails faster. I don't want to be late for the special event. Lemon, you're not just the fastest. You're the best. Yeah. yeah! Thank you, thank you. Just doing my job. And a very excellent job. Thanks to you, we're all gonna look gorgeous for the opening day of Mr. Longface's Croquet Country Club. I've never played a... Uh, croquet. Well, it's kind of like golf, but with wire hoops instead of holes. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> this could be a new look for us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, here, let me. Uh, I got it, I got it. Here, look at that. <laughs> okay, hold still. There, got it. <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> Never looks better. I love it. <laughs> sure does. <sighs> Perfect. Ooh, thanks. Huh? Oh, I think it's stuck. It isn't stuck. It's locked. Oh, goodness. I'm in us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out. I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Who? Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. Let's take that one. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. Now. Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface! Uh, oh! Okay, down, please. I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault we were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Merang. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed, due, I am ashamed to say, to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah, yeah so it's nice. nice. It's really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. But it's not level. Why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, oh, there's no telling where it would end up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we all are. Sure. Scissors. Oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> but help is on the way. Oh, hello, friend Berrikins. And thank you for coming to my rescue. Hey, no problem. At your service. Let's get to work. Well, Lemon, we weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? Yeah, I love this yeah, really yeah. beautiful yeah. day. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> but all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry.
The new Salonomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Your customers will love you. But what kind of surprise? I don't know, Raspberry. Lemon just called and said to bring everyone over for a reopening of her beauty salon. Reopen? What does she mean? Ta-da! Welcome to Lemon's new salon, where you're in and out faster than you can say hi and goodbye. Wow! Uh, what is it? This is the all-new salon of Matic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. So, who will be first? Well, I guess, uh, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay, just, that's right, sit down here. Uh, what do I do? Not a thing. The salon of Matic does it all. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the Salon Omatic. In just a few short seconds, a new do for a new you. <gasps> wow! Lemon, that's incredible! Exactly the way you do it. You. Oh, this new invention thing is great! Where'd you get it? I just called this number. Who's next? Oh, me! me, 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 me. <laughs> Incredible! Even the syrup drips are the same. Amazing! They're all identical! All thanks to the Wonder Waffler. The cook's fastest friend. Wow! Where'd you get it? Same place Lemon got her salon matic Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, hi Mary. What are you doing right now? Um, standing? Uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming friends? Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things. As well as... I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like, uh, this afternoon? No, right now. My new automatic clean matic does it while I'm away. Keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new clean matic Hey, does anybody need a, uh, you know, trim a manicure? Anything? Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, we're good. Hey, lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Whoa! Yes! <laughs> okay. Well then, uh, bye, I guess. you're enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, I feel like there isn't a lot to do here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie and... <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> oh, goodness. Can I borrow the clean matic next? Of course! Well, how are the smoothies? Mmm. Delicious! What do you think? Yum! Mmm! Mm. Alive with fruit flavor. <laughs> Lemons are natural. Oh, I think I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no time. That's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me.
the Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. And step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ouch. Oh, I meant left. <sighs> you were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone. And we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. Fun, huh? Uh, sure. But I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean, how many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. <laughs> your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but not a very much needed service. Hello, Hello hi. hi. Now remember, it's not a picnic. It's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh, no. But, Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. Don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. Come on. I have an idea. You want us to put honey in our hair? But how's that gonna keep Lemon from leaving? Watch. Ah! Oh, no! Lemon! You can't leave! Huh? Why not? Look what the salon o did to us! Oh no! Quick! Back to the salon! I'm not sure what Strawberry will think of this plan. Wow! <gasps> now it won't even do anything! What a bust! Boy, it sure is a good thing we caught you in time! Can you help us? At your service! But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Hmm. 
Oh, that looks wonderful. Oh, what would we have done without you? Thank you, Lemon. You're our hero. Magazine? Oh, how did these get here? Uh, um, how did we get where? We just wanted you to stay. But it's important the lawn is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Oh, well, I... Uh, I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Meringue down, <laughs> but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> <sighs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave! Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry, I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One, the machine is lousy at conversation. And boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers. And it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, and this is by far the worst. It never hugs. Yes, yeah, that's, that's great. great. Uh -huh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is. Oh, Lemon, will you please stay with us? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your fairy. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the salon matic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's Croquet Club open for business. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meringue, oh, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure. Very <laughs> best friends forever. We never let each other down. As long as we're together. Pardon 
me. I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Buck. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a, a cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm going to have to tell them they can't. Why not? My um, guest room, it's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to tell them. Oh, my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they'd put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing. Somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah, like little travel or, uh, oh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and booty hat soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um... A good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests, never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out, your guests will love it so much, next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> Goodness, all this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh, me. Oh, my. You even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh, yes, but <laughs> you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Very Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, I'm Nice to meet you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit J.D. Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, J.D. Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Uh, not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite color. It's not. Yeah, huh? It's so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my. <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. By 
finders keepers. Oh, girls, <laughs> we don't use straws in a cheek house. Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk, or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug, uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is just their way. Oh, Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, Jadybug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? The great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here! Look at this! <laughs> Girl, <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume! <coughs> Yum! Mmm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Oh, oh, uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? <laughs> they should do a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. So, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh... Well... Oh, boy! You must be having a great time! Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> <laughs> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Ah, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <laughs> If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Like, where people eat stuff. Mm. And mm. that's what we're doing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Each other down. Oh, ah. <laughs> so super fun! Carry on, key. Hey, give me a turn. I sing better than you. Nah, uh, uh, huh? Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> uh, how do you turn this thing on? We are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best friends forever. Uh, 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 uh. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friends for forever. Forever. <laughs> we never let each other. Oh! <laughs> 
What is the big idea? We were really going somewhere with that. Going somewhere? I wish you would go... <sighs> we don't want to give away the surprise of the performance before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with me? My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh, I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. You'd better go now, while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Oh. Oh. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit, who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard. Pupcake. We'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I better check on Mr. Longface and... and... those twins. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> The cafe is closed. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll come back later and help you clean up. We got a little carried away. Uh. Oh, a little help here. Strawberry's Cafe. Hope you're having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock-winding room. Sorry. Oh, 
Well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, uh, I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. Uh. Oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> yeah. Very bitty city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Mellonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay, <laughs> we're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean, none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey, I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by, by, by. You are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. Oh, I mean, um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh, and be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> If you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Very best friends forever. Never let each other down. Pretty important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Ah! 
I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> Oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. idea. Yeah, 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 but... Thank you. <laughs> Quick, turn him around. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, now how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation, which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Betty City myself, but, but not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Da! Oh, no. <laughs> Here, J.D. Bug, let me help you. No, no. You should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. <sighs> Poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, <laughs> that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but all the way to Acorn Acres, this is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge, way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Barry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange! Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, J.D. Bug? No! Here, let me... No, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh, <laughs> right. Stamps, stamps, stamps. Go! Oh. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> stamps, stamps, stamps. Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely! It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. <laughs> Agile? This end up. <laughs> Return to sender. Oh, special delivery. Wait, how about a nice don't drop this package? Oh, oh, here's a sorry, doesn't live here anymore. 
I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you. Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's got to go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Loveface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. S strawberry. Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a... hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet! Lemon, I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry, please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh, and then she'll... No! Oh. Ouch! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard, so I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm. You think? Worth a try. And don't worry, blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered, I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Berry Bay City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard at the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry! Strawberry, come back! There's only one rule today. The only words you can say. I guess I can, and let's make a plan. But even if we could clear the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I wonder how far we have to go. Oh, look, Popcake. That's the way to Oak Tree Meadows. The road to Rosevale. Brookville. Um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing. But do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse uh -huh. me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Sadie Bug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick Triplet. <laughs> but none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there! We need your help! You certainly aren't talking to me, are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh! Well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around! This is serious! Well, I have a serious, uh, thing too, and... Oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? We've lost our picnic! <laughs> what? <laughs> it grew away from us. Grew... Uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls! Please, please explain. How did your picnic grow away. Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic. And I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen. Because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there. And we're down here. And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on. We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake! <sighs> there. Oh! <laughs> Hey, that's mine? Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? <gasps> Don't spill that! <laughs> I can't open this. Give it to me then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Popcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you, but I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If only I knew how to get there. Oh, right, it's his birthday. Yup, too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep, lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. That one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep. Just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Go. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Popcake? Huh? It sounds like a river. Look, Popcake, the bridge. Come on. On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time. Woo! Here, cut cake. Pull it up. That was close.
on Acorn Acres. I couldn't get there. The road was blocked. The bridge was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> but everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, <laughs> we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it, so we decided to help you. Here in Berry Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? <laughs> Cupcake? <laughs> Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? <laughs> what do you think? Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Miss Shortcake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ready! <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. Yes. Special delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> this is for you, and happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You just warm up some apple cider with a little orange rind. Mmm, orange. My favorite. A tiny smidgen of lemon juice. Mmm, <laughs> my favorite. A bit of cinnamon and my secret ingredient. What's that? Warm wishes. I imagine my friends enjoying it, and somehow it just comes out better. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe if we drink enough, it will really feel like winter. Well, it's certainly cold enough, but some snow would be nice. I want snow so badly, I sometimes think I can hear it coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing! Yeah! Yeah! Cranberry cookies. Mmm. And best of all, the Glimmerberry 
party ball. Ah, I can't wait to start decorating for it. The food table will go here, and the streamers across there, and we'll put chairs along that wall. <laughs> 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 to think we won't be able to hold the Glimmerberry Ball in the cafe this year. Why not? Hot cider coming right up. Excuse me, coming through. Because Berry Bitty City isn't so bitty anymore. That's right. The town has grown since last winter. There just won't be room. If not here, then where? I've got it. We'll split up and hunt for a bigger place. We'll all look hither and yon. Hither and yon? Here and there. Ah. Great. An adventure in the snow. Oh, good idea. Fun. So, did you find a place for the ball? No. Oh, me neither. Uh, well, I found a nice flat tree stump. There's lots of room, but no shelter from the cold. Oh, we might freeze, or catch colds, or even just uh, shiver a lot. Well, we're definitely not giving up. After you get warm, we'll go looking again. I'll come with you. You guys, I found the perfect place. Come on. So, what do you think? It's perfect for the ball, right? Plum, if someone fell off those branches, they'd hurt themselves. And where would we put the tables? <laughs> no, no. Down here. Oh, warm, spacious, and inviting. I call it perfect. Congratulations, Plum. Good for you. Good job. I did it. Yay for Plum. I knew you would. Plum, since you did such a wonderful job of finding the perfect spot, would you mind being in charge of the party preparations? Oh, I'd love to. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll bring the dishes, cups, napkins, and tablecloths. Uh, Strawberry, can you take care of the party snacks? <laughs> of course. Okay, raspberry and orange. Would you help decorate? Fun. <laughs> Ooh, yay. What do you think of crepe paper streamers draped tastefully across the ceiling? Draped crepe? You got it. Blueberry, lemon. Can you please round up as many glow bugs as you can to light the hall? Of course. We're on it. Raspberry and I will get started, too. And I definitely better get started if we want to put this all together in two days. Thank you, everybody. <sighs> I'm going to make this the best Glimmerberry Ball Berry Bitty City has ever had. Which means I have time tomorrow to sew up some fancy tablecloths. And I have time to pick out some great music. <laughs> <laughs> the ball is going to be so much fun. True, but there's still plenty of work to do tomorrow. Let's get some rest, and I'll see you here bright and early. <gasps> what in the world happened? The snacks are all gone. And the glow bugs flew away. Oh, and our streamers and tablecloths are all torn up. If this is a prank, it's not funny. Who could have done such a thing? I don't know, but this is really cozy. Oh, I could take a nap in here. This is no time for a nap. We have to start over. All that work we did. It'll be okay, Plum. We still have a whole day to put everything back in order. Sure. And I'll go round up some more glow bugs. What I want to know is who would do something so... so... mean. Well, nobody in Berry Bitty City. Exactly. So it must be an outsider. And I'm gonna find out who. And they will answer to the Wrath of Plum. <laughs> Oh, now you don't like 
cranberries. Pop cake. <laughs> Watch out! Oh, how can I make cranberry cookies with you in the way? I told you I have a bunch of baking to do. <laughs> oh, come on, you silly puppy. We'll have playtime another time. Huh? <laughs> Strawberries Cafe, hoping you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, hi, Plum. What? Uh-huh. You're all going to stay in the tree tonight? It's the only way to make sure nobody messes up the party stuff again. It sounds like a fun sleepover. Maybe I can join you later. I just have to make one more batch of snacks. Oh, well, hold on. Pupcake, go fetch. Bring me that oven mitt, okay, boy? It's the cranberry cookies. Blueberry's winter favorite. Oh, it makes me so happy imagining how much she'll enjoy them. Pupcake! Pupcake, no! <sighs> Plum? Looks like I'm not going to be able to join you after all. Why? Let's just say it was something out of my control. Good luck! And have fun. See you in the morning. Bye. Goodness, what's gotten into you, silly puppy? <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, you think the cranberry is your ball. No wonder. You thought I was going to cook your favorite ball. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't understand. Come on, let's look for your ball. Are. Now maybe you'll let me finish my cranberry cookies. Oh, and everything else. Do you think we'll catch whoever it is? Oh, they'll be back all right. And I'm ready for them. Hey! That's really bright, you know. Oh, sorry. I just want to be ready when the intruders show up. if it's too bright. Oh, right. How much longer do you think we'll have to wait? This floor is really hard. Yeah, not exactly a feather bed. Hey, I know. How about we bring that big pile of shredded crepe paper back in here? Oh, it was a really cozy bed. Good idea. Uh, I don't know, girls. We're trying to keep the place nice and neat. Don't worry, Plum. We'll just sweep it out again in the morning. Cozy. Uh, really comfortable. But we have to stay alert. No problem. Oh, no. We'll stay alert for you. Honestly, Plum, I don't think these troublemakers are coming back. <gasps> what was that? The wind? A falling acorn? Uh, a really big snowflake? <gasps> Ready? One, two, three! Just a couple of cute chipmunks. Cute on the outside, but meddling on the inside. I will not allow these intruders to ruin our ball. Hey, get out of here! <laughs> That's right, you better scram. This is our place. Yay, we did it. <sighs> now can we go home? Yes, but first a little precaution. <laughs> to keep those pranksters out. Now we can trade that trash pile for some real bets. Tomorrow is a big day. The Glitterberry Ball! Oh, I'm so super excited to see everyone in their beautiful new ball gowns. They are splendid spectacular. And I've got all new steps planned out for the dance. And let's hear it for the terrific food we're going to eat tonight! <laughs> Thank you. And let's hear it for Plum for organizing all the preparations. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just 
is happy that everyone in town will have a delightful Glimmerberry Ball tonight. Yes, the hall looks fabulous. You've got to see it, Strawberry. Oh, I can't wait. I'll meet you down there when I'm done packing. Okay, see you soon. <gasps> oh, no. Not again. Somebody's been nibbling our snacks. Somebody chased away our glow bugs. And somebody's been sleeping in our streamers. <gasps> and they're still here. <laughs> so, trying to wreck our party, huh? Wake up! Wake up, you meddling pranksters! Get out of here! <laughs> now, we better clean this up. Quick. We're running out of time. What's that? I don't know. Sounds like it's coming our way. Oh, let's get out of here. Come on. with plum pudding. Let's see them try to get back into our Glimmerberry Ballroom now. have kept wrecking our decorations. And now they've stolen our ball gowns, just to spite us. Chipmunks? Oh, that's very strange. They're usually timid little guys. There must be some reason they turned into troublemakers. Oh, they did this? Have you ever heard of anything so mean? Shredding our decorations. We found them sleeping in these scraps. They aren't the only ones. Raspberry kind of likes sleeping in them, too. <laughs> well, they are pretty cozy. Yes, they are. Oh, that's the answer. What's the answer, Strawberry? The chipmunks aren't the intruders. We are. Us? Uh-huh. They chose this place to have somewhere warm to sleep during the winter. And they probably found it before Plum did. But why do they have to take it out on our Glimmerberry Ball? Hmm. Yesterday, I couldn't understand why Pupcake kept barking at me when I was making the cranberry relish. But when I finally stopped to see his point of view, I realized he thought a cranberry was his red ball, and he thought I wanted to play fetch. So? So? 
Look at this tree from the chipmunk's point of view. What looks like stealing food is actually their way of staying fed during their winter sleep. So what looks like a pile of scraps to us is really a bed to them? That's right, Raspberry. So all this time, we've been kicking them out of their home? I'm afraid so, Plum. <sighs> now I feel terrible. <sighs> Come on, girls. We better take all our stuff back home. But then where will we hold our Glimmerberry Ball? I think I may have an idea. What if we just ask the kids to get to the Hey, little guys. Can we talk to you for a minute? That's it. We won't hurt you. I'm really sorry we tried to take over your winter home. We'd like to change our Glimmerberry Ball into a hibernation ball. Would that be okay with you? Everyone will bring donations to our dance tonight, and you'll have plenty of food for the long winter. Where are they going now? chipmunks a lot more than just throwing our usual glimmerberry ball. Me too. It made it much more special. It's like strawberry secret cider ingredient. Warm wishes? Yes. The party was special because I kept imagining how much the chipmunks are going to enjoy their nice home and all the snacks for their hibernation. So do you think they enjoyed the party? <laughs> I think that says it all. The whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gathering. So we want this place spotless. No, 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 no. Now, everybody, look lively. Look lively. <laughs> Come on, let's move it, move it, move it, folks. Uh, uh, I'll get it. You don't need any help. I can do it. Oh, we're working on this together. All of us. Now, we are gonna need some extra hands on this one. All righty now, folks. On the count of three. One. Oh, this has 
to be my most favorite season of the year. Okay now, let's make this whole place sparkle. <laughs> some very cold weather moving in. Here, let me help. We'll get it done faster if we work together. Oh. Looks like... Some sort of old box. Wonder what's in this. Sorry. There's a book in here. The one we used to read for First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful Berry Grove. Oh, oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmer berry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern, because it was important to- Wow! They've been carving glimmer berries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no idea. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. 
Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh, I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh, yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Oh, why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... I guess they didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm. I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm. No, that's not it. Aha! Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just want it to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I can make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Nice shape, right size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. Oh, hey, well, where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love this! Oh, oh that's oh, I think oh, Can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not going to carve a glimmerberry this year. But Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the glimmerberry gathering unless everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that! Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying... But it was Orange who copied me! I didn't copy anybody! Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. Oh, Simon did it! Copy. Girls, who's uh, copying? Girls, we're talking about copying. copying. Who's copying? copying. copying. Who? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. Exactly what to do. <laughs> meeting! Meeting time! Meeting at the cafe! Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah! What's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked. The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait, that's... That's my design. That's right. And 
I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kinda, sorta, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's, Let's do it! Let's do it! Come on! Let's do it. Come on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. I, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give me another oh, second. Second. Give me another second. I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! Here you go, Mr. Longface. Pomegranate tea and apple slices. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching the cafe for me. My pleasure. And how is your garden growing? Oh, I'm hoping my flowers will be at their best in time for the flower festival. Come on, Pupcake. <laughs> ah, yes. The flower festival. The event of the year. Hi, Berry Can Bloom. Well, your roses look very lovely this year, <laughs> as usual. You just might win again, as usual. Thank you, Lemon Meringue, Strawberry Shortcake. Here, Strawberry, your flowers might want some water before the day gets any hotter. Why, thank you. Those are beautiful, Lemon. I think that this year your flowers are going to be the ones to beat. Oh, no. You can't mean my violets stand a chance against your award-winning roses. 
Well, I'm telling no lies. You could win the first prize. You're so kind to say so. <sighs> first prize. <laughs> and now, to the individual who has toiled from sunrise to sunset, growing the most perfect flowers, I award first prize to... Lemon Meringue! Oh, wow. It's getting late. Are you coming in? We were worried about you. You've been out here for hours. I'll be right there. Soon as I tuck them in for the night. Good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> <gasps> My violets! Awful! Tragic! Weird! We're so sorry, Lemon. My poor violets. What could have happened? It's certainly a mystery. We'll find out how it happened. But who would do such a thing? Who? You think someone took your violets? A flower thief. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Meringue. You're here early today. So are you. Good morning, Mr. Green. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Lemon? Oh, my. Oh, me. Is that sadness I see? I... Uh... Lemon's had a misfortune, Mr. Bloom. One of her violets went missing. Oh, no. But... but how? We don't know. Oh, that's so sad for you. Now I feel bad, too. I'm sure you do. Come on, Lemon. I'll make you a pancake breakfast and wake me up fruit juice surprise at the cafe. Lemon, you don't really think that nice Mr. Bloom would do a thing like that, do you? Of course not, but, uh, well, didn't you see? See what? His guardian is right next to mine. That's true. Well? It's also true that we've known Barakin Bloom a long time. Lemon, you've got to be careful of accusing people. You could really hurt someone's feelings. Uh, I'd never want that to happen. <sighs> You're right, Strawberry. Barakin Bloom would never do a thing like that. <gasps> what is it, Miss Murray? M m m m more of my violets are missing! Stolen! Oh, goodness me. I didn't see. I was here the whole time, but I... I witnessed no crime. Well, we're actually not really sure there's been a crime. If Barrican Bloom didn't see anything, there must be another explanation. <laughs> I can kind of see Lemon's point, though, Strawberry. No one else was around all day except Barry Kim Bloom. And he told me I'm his biggest competition. Maybe he's only complimenting you. He is nice that way. Why do you think he would steal your violets anyway? Because his roses win the flower show every year, and he wants to make sure he wins this year, too. <laughs> oh, you? You come back here, you little troublemaker. <laughs> oh, Lemon, I'm so sorry about your violets. I know how much you care about them and how awful it feels to lose something so special. Thanks, Strawberry. But it would feel pretty bad if someone accused you of stealing when you didn't. I know, but why is he there all the time when no one else is? Maybe uh, he's there all the time working on his roses because he cares about them so much, just like you care about your violets. Huh, <sighs> that's true. Just don't make up your mind about what happened until we can figure it out for sure, 
okay? Okay, Strawberry. I'll try. And in the meantime, hope that whatever happened to your flowers doesn't happen again. Believe <laughs> it! Mine are gone! Mine are gone too! <gasps> How could it? Who did this? Just like lemons! Everyone has flowers missing! Not everyone. Bear can bloom! Did you lose any? Thank goodness all my roses are here. I'm so sorry for your flowers, my dear. Who else could it be? It's gotta be him. Oh, it's like Lemon said. This is serious, Strawberry. Very serious. Well... <laughs> my garden is like yours. It's just as I feared. My very best roses. They... <laughs> they disappeared. <laughs> oh. Oh, Barrack and Bloom, I'm so, so, so sorry. You don't know how sorry. What will we do? Flower Festival is two days away. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Princess. Okay, girls. What did everyone find? Well, with all the flowers missing, whoever carried them off... If someone carried them off. Okay. If someone carried them off, they are either really big or there is a lot of them. But we didn't find any tracks. Yeah. No tracks except ours. No, that's spooky. Uh, maybe the thief flew in. Could be. At this point, anything's possible. Where were you on the night when this terrible tragedy occurred? <laughs> asleep? Mm, me too. Oh, asleep, huh? That seems mighty suspicious. Uh, Lemon? They always sleep at night. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, ha! Yeah. Violet Petal Salad, huh? Why, hello there, Miss Meringue. Uh, yes, my favorite. My precious violets. Lunch! Mr. Longface, how could you? Oh, oh but they're not your violets. <laughs> I weeded and watered and worked for weeks growing my... They're not? Oh, no. I grew them myself. I'm afraid they're not fine enough to enter into the festival, uh, but good enough to eat. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Longface. Strawberry, it's just... I can't get over this bad feeling I have from hurting Mr. Longface's feelings. And after you warned me, too. I know. Sometimes it's hard not to jump to conclusions. I won't do it again. I want to get all the facts. That's what we're going to get. Yep. Ready for Catch a Thief Camp Out. This is going to be so scary. I can't wait. <laughs> Funny. He's too small to be the thief. Not to mention too nice. So let's, you know, check the pictures? <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> There's a great one. <laughs> Ew! Look at me! You! <laughs> look at me! Hey, Lemon! This shot of your violets came out great! Nice one, Strawberry. Thanks! Look at this! 
What? What is that? I don't know. But whatever it was, from the angle of the photo, it was right over there. Come on, Lemon. You want to check it out, don't you? Uh, uh-huh. Sure. Oh, shh. Very quiet. Walk very quiet. Shh. Careful. <gasps> ah! Do you see it? Yeah. There it is. Oh, oh, maybe we better run. Now, don't be scared. There's one of it. Six of us. Yeah, but f f five of us are f f frozen in fear. I told Princess Berry, can we get to the bottom of this? And we're gonna do it. Right? Now! <gasps> huh? Just shadows. I should have guessed. Like when we think we see animals in the clouds. So, um, now what do we do? I know what I'm gonna do. You're coming home with me where you'll be safe. <laughs> festival instead. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like something was under the ground. Things were going up and going down and sideways and forwards and shaking. It was like the end of the world. The end of the world? Not the end of the world. Close to the end of the world? No. The day before the end of the world, when it's getting into the part where all life as we know it ceases to lum. Huh? Oh, oh no! no. See? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Calm. Calm, everyone, please. There is something <gasps> under the ground. <gasps> it's over there! That's where the garden is! Come on! Look! More of Bear Kim Bloom's roses are missing! Oh, he'll be so upset. I've calculated that three of mine are gone. Two left here. Good thing I moved my best violet inside. There's only four violet plants left out here. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking the missing flowers and the ground shaking have something to do with each other. Ah! Whoa! Did you see that? Uh, how could... How... How did... Look! I'm coming to the conclusion that the flowers are not being picked up. Yeah, they're being pulled down! <gasps> Grab it! <laughs> Look! Wow! Uh, girls, I just wanted to say I'm sorry I got us into this, and uh, maybe we don't need to know what's taking the flowers and uh, ending the world after all. <laughs> don't you want to figure this out? Come on, we're all here with you. Yeah. What could happen when you have your friends with you? Uh, how about a lot? <laughs> Lemon? It's about time we shine some light on this mystery. Okay, Strawberry, if you say so. Hey, little one. 
Are you afraid of us? We won't hurt you. Oh, are you hungry? Let's help them. Let's um, like, build a pyramid. Yeah, that's good. Ouch! Oh, watch your foot! Give me your hand. There we go. We did it! <laughs> I think we found our thief. <laughs> I think you're right. Well, Lemon, your violets are sure first prize with somebody. <laughs> Just my luck, it's a gopher. Wait, it's cute and all, but what will we tell Princess Barrican? With this critter around, we won't have any more flower festivals. Or flowers, for that matter. I think I have an idea. Lemon, you're the best. But I feel bad that you don't have any flowers to enter in the festival. <sighs> so do I. Can I help you with that, Mr. Bloom? Hello, Lemon. Uh, thank you. Mr. Bloom, I wanted to say I'm sorry about... Well, you see, I thought maybe you took my violets because you wanted to win. Oh, Lemon. In my heart? Oh, I knew you'd never do something like that, but somehow I let myself think it before I found out the truth. Will you forgive me? Of course, Lemon. You know, I do want to win. But what fun would it be if I was the only one in the contest? I heard how you gave up the flowers you loved best. By doing that, you saved mine and all of the rest. Thanks. And good luck. I hope you win. Thank you, Lemon. And second prize goes to... Barrican Bloom for his lovely roses. Second prize? He didn't win first prize? I can't believe it. I think his roses are the nicest. And now, the first prize for the most beautiful flowers in Berry Bitty City. The first prize goes to... Lemon Moran! <laughs> Congratulations, Lemon! Congratulations, Lemon. Your violets really were first prize. But I didn't even enter a flower. Strawberry entered it for you. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry! You're very welcome, Lemon. But it was Berry Can Bloom's idea. Oh, yeah! Face. Ready to start making finger sandwiches for the tea party? Oh, better than that, Miss Shortcake. I spent the entire night thinking up new culinary treats. Perfect for tea parties. What do you think of a wheat, grass, corn, husk, and pickled butter puff? It sounds very... uh... interesting. I... <laughs> can't wait to try it. Oh, neither can I. <laughs> 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 I can't play now. Do you want to come in? Cake <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, custard. <laughs> you two. Come on. You'll have to stay out of the way. Are you ready to try my spectacular wheat, grass, corn husk, and pickled butter puff? Oh. Um, <laughs> yes. Mmm. 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 <laughs> that is very, um, hmm, different. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Maybe an acquired taste. 
you know, something you have to get used to. Not for everyone, are they? <laughs> you need a sense of adventure to enjoy them. <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Longface, it might be too much adventure for me, but maybe others will take to them. <gasps> How'd you... Oh, are you all right? <laughs> oh, you want to play. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told you, I'm just too busy today. My next creation, the first ever strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, lemon, orange, plum tea sandwich. Ooh, strange. Strange? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant that is strange. Custard and Pupcake didn't come back for lunch. Ooh, oh my. Uh, that's not only strange, it, it's... why, it's unheard of. Oh dear. I hope something hasn't happened to them. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. They're probably just... Oh, out playing and just lost track of time. Beware the metal tear. What a day. <laughs> Everything got to Watch out for the pops. Mr. Longface is pride and joy. His wheatgrass corn husk can pickle butter pups. Strawberry? What's so interesting out there? Oh, <laughs> nothing. They're not back yet. Who's not back yet? Oh, Custard and Pupcake. Have you seen them? Are they missing? Oh, I'm sure they're just playing. <laughs> you know those two. Poor things. What if something's happened to them? Now, don't worry. They'll come back when they're ready. Ever. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, I'm not. Excuse me, won't you? I can't stop thinking about those two helpless little creatures out there. <laughs> Maybe lost in the big world. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. After the tea party, I'll go out and find them. If there's anything I can do to help. That's very kind of you. Perhaps later you could keep things going here while I step outside and call them. Happily. Uh, just say when. Uh, now. Custard! Popcake! They've never been gone this long, have they? Don't worry, girls. I'll find them in no time. I know all their favorite spots. Please, go back and enjoy the party. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug will think they've been abandoned. But we can help you look, Strawberry. But they've been looking forward to this party for weeks. The ladybugs won't miss me. But if you leave, I mean, <laughs> the party just started. Party is over. I do apologize, Miss Shortcake. I couldn't stop them. We can have a tea party any old time, but right now, we're having a search party <laughs> to help you find your pets. And we brought finger sandwiches. Good oh, yeah. Thank you, everyone. 
What are friends for? Okay, I'm reading a Patty Persimmon mystery book that Blueberry recommended, and there's a search party scene, and they were able to find a missing Glimmerberry by splitting up. Great idea! Oh, uh, Katie Bag and I will distribute food and drinks to all parties soon as she gives me the basket. Oh. <laughs> 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 Katie Bug, don't mind if I do. Oh, thank goodness the rain is stopping. Now, quick, guys, we're off. Have to supply the Americans. <laughs> thank you. Wait, that looks like a Mr. Longface special. Oh, uh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, I'll just save this for later. Hmm, I think I'll do the same. An Arboralis linaria usually stands straight up. The pets must have been through here and bent it. Oh, wonderful observation, Berrikin Bloom. Wow, this is really reminding me of the mystery Blueberry gave me. The search party was in a dark woods like this. And while they were tracking the missing Glimmerberry, the mean, nasty, very naughty thief was tracking them. Oh, oh hey. I read that mystery, Patty Persimmon, Genius Detective, on the case of the mean, nasty, very naughty Glimmerberry Thief. Exactly how mean, nasty, and um, uh, what was the rest? Very naughty. Oh, dear. But it turns out it wasn't a thief at all. Oh, thank goodness. It was really a forest oh. monster. Yeah, they call it the Slither Slider. <laughs> Did you? Here. Uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, perhaps something that sounded sort of like a... Slither? Uh, uh, not, not at all. Wait for us! It out, and there's no path. Oh, I've just got to look everywhere. They have to be somewhere. Let's head out a little farther. I certainly wouldn't want to get lost out here in this rainy weather like they might be. Lost? My pets? I know. I read in a story about two kids who made a trail of breadcrumbs so that they could find their way home. Oh, I know that story. Um. Doesn't, um, the breadcrumb trail get eaten? But no one will eat this. You're clever, Blueberry. Come on, now we won't get lost. strikes in the rain. Well, come on. Let's keep going. Into this rain? Well, we have to find the path. Uh-oh. Uh, quick, up here. This way. Uh, let's go in here. It's Brian here. Come on. <laughs> Forward! Oh, I can't! Oh, ah! We're stuck! 
Just look at that. Someone's been littering. Strawberry always says, pack it in, pack it out. Whatever you bring into the wilderness, you should bring out. Did you hear that? Oh, I'm afraid that I did. It couldn't be the Snooker Slider. Oh. Orange Raspberry! Oh, my. Handing out search party snacks is super hard. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, let's have a rest. Oh, why not enjoy a snack ourselves? Oh, hey, I was saving that sandwich for me. Finders keepers, losers, weepers. Uh, nah, uh. What? Who is doing this littering? <laughs> Orange, raspberry, if you can hear us, we're over here. <laughs> It's coming closer. Oh, top rot. Patty Persimmon Genius Detective Magnifying Glass, then they're gone. My pets? No, with those puff crumbs. I can't believe someone ate them. Goodness, now we'll never find our way out of here. Don't be scared. We've got each other. We can handle this. But the sun will set in approximately 44 minutes, and the pets are lost, and we're lost. I'll call the others. Hi, Orange. Any sign of Pupcake or Custard? Nothing here, except... Well, we really aren't sure where here is. Yeah, we're last too. Oh, uh, call you back, Orange. I've got another call coming in. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Slow down, Lemon. What's wrong? Uh, there's something very weird out here. Be brave. We'll find you. <gasps> Great. Now we're all lost together. Hey, is that a map? Uh, it was. <laughs> Quick, let's hide in here. Oh, I don't know if I can fit. I'll help you. Try back again. Lemon, we're going to find them. Oh, Strawberry, well, what would we do without you? You always tell us everything is going to be okay. I only hope it is. Ah! 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 Sadie Bug, Bug, what's wrong? Do you know something about the pets? We lost the tea sandwiches and the puffs! Puffs? We've been finding and picking those up all afternoon. Afternoon. You cleaned up our puff trail? Well, sure. Puff it in, puff it out. Oh, strawberry! Princess, any... <sighs> I see. Guys, look! The sun is going down, and we still haven't found Puffcake and Custard. What if we never find them? And I lost Mr. Longface and Berry Can Bloom. It's behind me! Coming for us! Wherever you are, 
I hope you're okay. What if there's somewhere where we can't find them? How could they be lost? They know their way around. But maybe they're terribly lost. <gasps> maybe just too tired to come home. But they'll be back tomorrow. What if they're trapped somewhere? I don't think that's likely. Oh, I miss them so much. Could they have run away? Strawberry, are you just the night air uh, making me sniffle? <laughs> oh, Strawberry, you must be so worried. And all we've been talking about is how worried we are. You poor thing. You love those pets so much. I didn't want to make everyone upset, but oh, I'm just so scared I won't find them. And, and maybe they did run away. You see, they wanted me to play with them, but I was too busy. Oh, I was silly to say that. They would never run away, not with someone like you taking care of them. They know how much you love them, and they love you. Don't you worry, Strawberry. We will find them no matter what. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm so glad you all came to look with Quick, me. Quick, run! <laughs> run for your lives! Uh, what are we running from? It! We heard it coming from underground! We heard weird noises underground, too! Wait a minute! Underground! What if that's why the pets didn't come home? What do you mean, Strawberry? Well, all of us have searched everywhere from above. <gasps> and if the pets were underground and didn't know what time of day it was... They might lose track of time? Exactly! Mr. Longface, Berry can bloom. Where did you hear the noises? <laughs> Back there. Custard? Here, <laughs> I'd never have found them. <laughs> Under there. 